Hi, I'm Jack Shilly and welcome to another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to plant a blackcurrant in a container. There's no more room left on our fruit patch, so we're having to use these containers. Now, it's a big trial for me. I've never trialled soft fruit in containers like this before. So, as you saw previously, we've done raspberries in containers and now we're trying the blackcurrant in containers as well. So this is the container we're using. It's 40 centimetres, which is just about the right size. For black currants, I would recommend using somewhere between 40 to 50, maybe even 60 centimetres. The variety that we're planting in this container is called Ben Sarek. Now, Ben Sarek is a reliable, heavy fruiting variety. I mean, this one that I've got here, which I purchased from the garden centre a couple of days ago, is already in heavy fruit. It's a second year bush good value for money it's already had the first year so we're already into the second year where it's fruiting heavily so we're definitely going to get a crop later on this year with the way that it's looking at the moment and the compost you need to be using is again much similar to the to what we use with the raspberries is multi-purpose compost and then you want to mix it with some John Inns number three to bulk it out a bit and provide some structural support for the roots as the compost is not enough and it will start blowing around and all sorts so to start We've crushed up some pots uh, to put at the bottom, A, the drainage and retain some moisture at the bottom. Once you've put your con crushed containers or whatever you're putting, broken pots, that sort of thing, at the bottom of the container, you can then start filling it up. I'm using compost that's already been mixed with John Innins, number three. You want about a 50-50 mix of compost and John Innins when making your own. Otherwise, it's fine just to buy a pre-mixed bag, which is what I'm using here. Then once you've got it to about an inch below the surface of the container, it's just about going to that point now, you're ready to put the plant in. Okay, so when you're ready to put the plant in, it's really simple. Just remove the soil from the centre of the pot. It's if you're putting one in, I'd recommend only putting one black currant or red currant or white currant, whatever you've got, per container. Otherwise, it's going to get too congested in there, unless you've got a huge container. Then, sit the plant in to get an idea of the size and what way it's going to go. This still needs a little bit taken out, so I'll put it back in the bag. And it wants to be planted the same height it is in the container at the moment, which is just, just here, where it's been cut and chopped back before. So get your container. firmly rooted in there give it a pull and it will come out that's really well rooted in there actually nice strong root system that we've got on here um, you can remove some of the wood chips if you want to I'm just going to leave them there and then sit it into the container then all I'm going to do is push the soil that's around the sides back in firm it down and then top up the soil level on the around the rest of the pot accordingly like that then once you've got the soil level to the right height and the, you've planted your bush at the right level in there you can then give it a feed especially because this is in heavy fruit at the moment and we're planting it at a stressful time as it is for the plant so I'm going to feed it with some of these organic chicken manure pellets I'm just going to scatter a good amount around the surface before I water in if you do this after you've watered in they tend to go a bit soggy and mouldy and it's not all that great and then all I'm going to do is some water in when it comes to watering your black currant or your red currant or your white currant in especially if they're in fruit or you're in a dry spell like we are at the moment they dry out very very easily so they need a really really good soak I'd probably say a good can full of water straight after planting leave it for a little while 
and then come back to it again later and give it another really good soak. Otherwise you'll find that it dries out too quickly and your plant won't develop properly. So that's all there is to it in terms of planting blackcurrant bushes. Really simple, now they can either go in the ground, same approach to this, give it a good mulch, feed, dig out the area and it can go in the ground, or they're ideal in containers, 40 centimetres plus um, is fine for them. What we did today was we gave it a really good feed after we had planted it in the container, then soaked it in, that's going to help break down those chicken manure pellets straight away <clears throat> and start providing those nutrients and it will get off to a really, really good start. Now I'm going to put this in a nice sunny spot where it's going to get the maximum amount of sunlight. Then once these berries start to ripen, I'll then put up a defence cage to stop the birds from ravaging the plant and eating all the fruit. That's all we've got time for in this episode. Join us next Thursday when another episode will focus on another type of plant. Don't forget to rate and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future episodes. And also if you've got any experiences you'd like to share with everybody else or any questions regarding today's video then please put them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.